How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Check Videos. Today I'm going to be going over the 10 hidden features of the Galaxy Tab A. Now this is specifically with the S Pen. Um, this is a special model that you can only get at certain retailers, specifically Best Buy carries it. And it has the really cool S Pen that you find on the Note 4 and Note 5 and Note 3, Note 2, Note 1. Um, I will try to do a uh, 10 hidden features of just the Tab A without S Pen, but really a lot of the cool stuff is going to be in this model, so I'm just putting that right out there. All right, let's jump right in. So the first hidden feature comes with the S Pen. Now this is basically allowing you to control what happens when the pen comes out, because you'll notice when I take the pen out, it automatically launches what are called air commands. With air commands, you can do a lot of cool things. Take a screenshot, you can launch an action memo where you can actually write down like a phone number and like uh, save it in your contacts or write down an email and then you could like email that number or write down directions. So although this is really cool, um, you can program it to do different things so that when you take the pin out, it doesn't always necessarily launch this. Now to do this, we're gonna swipe from the top Go to our settings. And from here, we're gonna go to S Pen. So on a device, S Pen. And there's an option here. It's called Detachment Options. And when we go here, we can choose what happens when the pen is taken out. Now, you may wanna launch an action memo, which is really cool. I'm gonna show you this really quickly here. Let's check this out. If we have that option selected, as soon as I pull the pen out, it automatically launches a cool little post-it note which is called an action memo which will allow you to draw or you could write notes like you could write a to-do list and you could link it to an action and then it would automatically convert it and add it to your calendar so you may find this more useful than just the air command thing that i just showed you and simply it's a matter of just changing it under s pen and under detachment options now what you can also do is say hey i don't want anything to pop up i just want to take the pen out and keep going and if that's you you can hit none and then when the pen comes out nothing will happen so this is our first hidden feature right there and let's jump to our next one so our next hidden feature is going to be that you have the ability to change the font of the tablet and you get a couple of really cool stock fonts that come with it let me show you how to find that we're going to swipe down we're going to go to our wheel for settings once again and we're going to uh, go down to accessibility which is incorrect just kidding i'm a kidder guys you gotta know that about me you're gonna go to display and on display, you're gonna to go to font. Now the cool thing about this is you can do a couple of things. You can change the size of how large everything is. You can also change what fonts. So it comes with these five or these four funky fonts right here. And you can also download more fonts as well. So I'm not gonna change this right now because it takes time to change and change back. I just wanna just show you, you have the ability to really customize the tablet to your liking. So that's gonna be number two right there. Now our third hidden feature is going to be uh, our ability to pin an action memo to the home screen. And we were just talking about the action memos a second ago. And I'm gonna pinch and we're gonna add another screen so we can work off of this screen. So with our S Pen, when you put the pen close to the screen and tap the button, it will launch our air commands. And then I can go over here to action memo. Now let's say you're on the phone, someone's giving you a confirmation number, you're writing it down, 4182317. Two. Here's the cool thing. After you write that note, um, you can hit this little um, tack right here and actually pin it right to your home screen. You can even make it bigger if you want. I'm going to go up or take what? Take it. Let's see. Just go up one and then drag it. And that's about as big as you can make it. So the cool thing about that is if you write a note, you can put it right on the home screen just like you would have posted. Um, and it just makes it easier, especially if you're writing on a to-do list or like a concept drawing or whatever it is that you would draw, it's right in your face. And I'm a big to-do list person, so being able to see it after I type it is very important. So, um, And literally, if you just tap it, it just opens back up again and allows you to edit. I can go back in and 
do this. I could change the color just by hitting these little three dots here. Change background, I can go with the blue and hit the check and guess what? It's gonna change the note automatically. So this is gonna be our hidden feature number three which is just pinning an action memo to your home screen. Now number four, this is kind of a silly one but I like it. Uh, basically with the S Pin, um, it basically works across other Samsung devices. So for example, um, I have my Note my Note 5 right here, okay? Now this is a cool thing. I can actually take my S Pen off of my Note 5 and I can take it and interact with my Tab A. It's really cool because sometimes you don't want to you don't want to take the pen out. You may already have your S Pen from your Note. You can use that. Even the buttons work. I can go close, hit the button and it will actually launch the air commands, which I love because I can also use my S Pen here on my Note 4. Now, I notice it doesn't work on the Note 5. Or actually, I'm sorry, it does. Look at that. It's like one day it didn't work, but anyway, it's working now. So <laughs> the pins are basically interchangeable and no special syncing required. They just automatically work. So if you do have a note device, you're able to take even more advantage of just the awesomeness of it and use those pins back and forth. So that's going to be our fourth hidden feature right there. Now, um, Our uh, next one, sorry guys, a little break for it there. You know, sometimes you just gotta pause, you know? Um, this is gonna be S Note Sync. And I'm really excited about this because again, as you notice, I have a Note phone. Um, and so the cool thing is, if you have any Samsung phone, okay, now I used to think it was just Notes, but it's any Samsung phone, this proprietary app, which is called S Note, um, you can basically, again, do a little herbal right there, whatever. Um, all the notes that you take on the tablet, whether you use the S Note app or whether you use the Action Memo, um, you can sync that across your other Samsung devices. So, for example, um, I'm going to create a note here. And let's just uh, tell you what, I'm not going to go through that whole process, but basically, any note that I have on my tablet. I can sync it easily with my Note phone. And this is the cool thing, because I used to kind of like get a little irritated by the fact that, oh, it's great, I can take all these cool notes on my tablet, but oh, I can't see it anywhere, and vice versa. I take all these notes on my phone, and I can't sync it. Well, you can, you can sync it across your other Samsung devices. So for example, if I go to S Note on here, what you'll find, and I was just in that app right there, you'll find all the same, let's see, how do we, oh, there we go. You'll find all the same notebooks on here that you find on here. And there's like some duplicates that are on here, but basically you take a note on here and the note will continue on the other device. And so it just makes it more convenient because again, you're taking these notes and now guess what? You can actually get them on your other device. So I can start a note on my phone and come home and I can continue that note um, right here on my tablet. Just to give you an example, uh, I got married recently and when I was getting married, I was taking notes um, I was like doing budget stuff and like crossing off when we had paid certain things. And the cool thing is I would literally work on it on my phone when I was out and about. And then when I would come home, I would go back and refer to it. And I was able to see the progress right there versus having to like email the note to myself. And it gets a little irritating at that point. So, uh, it's just really cool that it, everything syncs up. Now, here's another little trick. Maybe you don't have a note phone. Maybe you have an S series phone, S6, S6 Edge, um, S5, S4, it doesn't matter. You can actually go to Samsung's uh, App Store because they have their own special App Store. You're gonna go to Apps and you will go to Galaxy Apps and you can actually download S Note. Even if you don't have a Note phone, you just go to the search and you're gonna just type in S Note and you have the ability to download the app right through here. So that's basically how you would be able to sync your notes and continue to see them on other devices 
even if you didn't have a note device. So um, super excited about that. Definitely had to go over that. Let's get to the back half. We got uh, five more really cool hidden features. Now, here's the next one, and I think you're all gonna love this. So this is called Guest Account. And this is kind of like on your PC when you, know, you didn't really want people messing with um, you didn't really want people going through your stuff. And so to do that, you would have like log them in under like the, the guest account. Well, now you have it on your tablet where I can swipe down, tap on the little face right here, and you'll see guest. Now, if you don't have this, you can also swipe down, go to settings, the little wheel right there, and you're gonna scroll down until you get to user now I have multiple accounts set up, but what you can do, you'll just jump right down to guest. Now check this out. So when you go to guest, none of your information is gonna be in this section. This is basically like, oh yeah, you wanna use my tablet? Oh, what do you wanna do? Oh, I just wanna just check something on the internet. Okay, well you're not gonna bother any of my stuff. You put it in guest uh, account, and now they can use the camera, they can go on the internet. If I go to the gallery, one thing you'll notice is there's nothing there. No pictures, and guess what? I have a password on my account, so like you can't just switch over and jump back to my account. So that's the beauty of this. People can use the tablet and enjoy it and have fun, but it doesn't interfere with your stuff and it allows you to keep your stuff private. So that's a really cool thing right there. Now number seven, this is another really great feature. Um, and this is a feature that you find on a lot of the phones and they just now have brought it to, to their tablets. So this is called directional lock and you can basically lock your tablet so that the only way to get back in is by entering a uh, series of directions. So guess what, you'll notice right now, it doesn't say, hey, enter the password, it doesn't say fingerprint, whatever. You literally have to know the combination of directions and if you don't you can't get in look at that incorrect direction drawing so like for example here's my code up 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 and that's how you get into the tablet but guess what try it the other way maybe you want to try down 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 doesn't work see that so this is just simply what's called directional lock and what's cool is it, it will throw someone off and the average person is not even gonna understand what it's asking for and therefore they won't be able to get into your tablet. So definitely another way of securing your tablet to make sure that no one's going through your stuff. Now here's how we set this up. You're gonna go to lock screen and security and then you're gonna go to screen lock type and here it's asked me to confirm my direction up, 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 up. And then I have the option direction lock and I can go in here and set a new code. So you can have up to eight directions. I can have up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, whatever. You may have a combination in your head that you would remember, whatever it is. Um, it just will make your tablet so much more secure because now someone's not guessing a, a password. They're literally guessing directions. So really cool, love that, definitely wanted to show that. Um, our number eight hidden feature is gonna come uh, in the keyboard. And now with this, let's open up something really simple. We'll go to Play Store and just tap here. Now we can turn on a really cool feature. So down next to symbol, there's a little wheel. You can kind of see it over the uh, emoji right here. Just hold down on it and go to the wheel and we're gonna go to, let's see, smart typing, that's right, and keyboard swipe, and you can turn on swipe, which is a really fun feature for, everybody doesn't use it, I just started using it, it's really great, it basically allows you to type words a lot faster because you're not hitting one word, one letter, one letter, one letter, one letter, you're just swiping across those letters to make uh, a word. So let me just show you an example of this. So we're here. Hello. How are 
you. Now, it does take some getting used to, but I guarantee you it's so much faster than type, 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 type. Literally, once you get the hang of it, you can do it so fast. And that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. It just, it's a very intuitive uh, feature and it just makes typing so much faster. So you can turn this on and it doesn't come turned on. So you just, you gotta go to that settings and smart typing and then come down to keyboard swipe and make sure you're on continuous input and then you'll have your swipe keyboard right there. All right. Now, the next hidden feature is a really simple one. Some of you may already know about it, some of you may not. It's a lollipop feature, and you're gonna basically swipe down, go to the wheel for settings. This is one of those features that comes pre-installed on all lollipop Android devices. So if your Android device is running lollipop, you have this. What you're gonna do is go down to about device, and where it says Android version, you're gonna just keep tapping. And when you do that, it'll launch the Lollipop game, which is a really fun game. Then you're gonna tap this a couple of times. And then you'll get to the actual game where you get to basically play like a, a Flappy Bird type game. It's hard as hell, let me tell you. But um, it definitely is hours of fun. And you gotta really have some patience because man, it's just so darn hard. Now some of you can be like, it's not hard, I've, I've gotten to level so and so. Well, I've played a lot and it's hasn't been an easy role for me. Oh, I got two, that was pretty good. So this is a really fun game, it's free. You know, your battery could be almost dead, but it's, it's built in. So even if you don't have the internet, you can get this game and play it. And it's a great, like, just time waster if you just got some extra time and need something to do. Open the lollipop game. That's it. All right, we're at number 10, our last hidden feature. And this is going to be what are called pop-up apps. And it only works with certain apps on the phone, but it's a really fun feature. Um, so... Let's do this. So uh, at the bottom, bottom left, right next to the button, you have your recent apps button. Any app that has this symbol right here will allow you to do a pop-up. Let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna tap on this app and from the corner, start from the corner and you're gonna just drag down. You're gonna swipe down diagonally and watch this. It's actually gonna shrink the app into a smaller version, a pop-up version, and you can basically hold this bubble and move it around. And it's really cool because it just allows you to have that app floating, and what you can do is you can tap on the bubble and you can hit one of these options here to make it bigger, or I can shrink it and have it stay on the screen as a pop-up while I do other things. Keep swiping, it's still there. And I tap it, it's gonna open up at that size. And again, only certain apps do work with it, but um, there are a lot of useful ones, like for example, your gallery works, Google Chrome, so that's like the internet. Imagine if you're like typing a paper for school and you're opening it up and looking up research, you could have that floating. Um, email works. Uh, I believe music works. There's like about 10 or 15 apps that work with it. And it's just a really awesome feature uh, you could have up to five or six pop-ups going at one time. And you know, it, it really speaks to why this tablet is so great because it allows you to multitask and really do a lot of things at one time. So you might be the type of person that says, hey, I only wanna do one thing at a time. That's up to you. But you may wanna do five things. And that's the kind of guy I am. I like to do have all kinds of stuff open. And that's where this feature works out really great. So you guys, this has been the 10 hidden features of the Galaxy Tab A with S Pen. Now I will uh, work on a, another version of this video for those of you that don't have the S Pen. Um, again, it's just something that's only sold at select retailers. I, I don't know why this tablet should have been sold everywhere, but that's you know neither here nor there. Uh, I will make another version of this that's just for people who have the Tab A. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and keep watching, all right? Have a good one.